Hello, hello, hello to all of the Pisces out there, all of the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading, your general reading for the energy in August. All right, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check your moon, venus, and rising sign videos. Those watchers are welcome as well for a personal reading. The link will be posted in the description box below this video. Oh, okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. What's going on? Okay. If you are interested in a Lion's Gate Manifestation Portal reading, hmm, that's weird. That came out in the reverse. Okay. Hmm. That one did too. Hmm. All right. I guess some of the cards are in the reverse. All right. The bottom of the deck, Two of Swords, is a challenge. All right, let's see what's going on. Pisces, past, present, and future. I feel like in the past, there was a conversation that caused you to overthink, okay? Could have had something to do with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. I feel like you wanted to overcome some obstacles with someone in the past. And from the looks of things, it, if I feel like it just didn't work out. And now you may be feeling like your hands are tied because you really want to start over with this person. But I feel like someone here is holding back or being held back because they're overthinking. Someone here is anxious, feeling paranoid, and feeling like they're the only ones that um, that's putting work into this union. Someone here may be feeling like they were cut off in the past. And that's why this person is feeling like their hands are tied and they can't come forward with this new passionate beginning because someone here doesn't know how they're going to be received if they come in. All right. Right now, Pisces, you could be waiting for the right opportunity, waiting for the right time, waiting for the smoke to clear. I'm definitely getting someone here waiting for the right opportunity to go towards someone. It's like one person is waiting and the other person is wanting to um wanting to move in. And I feel like with this nine of pentacles in the reverse, someone here is tired of waiting, tired of being alone. I feel like someone here is making a decision to come in. If they have not made this decision yet, they're making a decision to come towards you or you them. Apply it as if it's to your story. However, in the near future, this person is still in the dark about some things. Could be a Leo involved. This person is still in the dark. They don't know how they're going to be received if they come in. So, therefore, I feel like this person is like doesn't really know what to say. They want to be honest. They want to tell and express their truth. But this person, I feel like they don't know how to form the words or they're just like confused about if you're going to accept them back or not. So it's like they're holding back with this lover's card, Gemini's energy. This person is holding back and not making a decision to come forward. And that's what the blockage is. The blockage is this person wanting to come forward, but feeling like they, they're not able to. So let's start clarifying this and see what's going on. Why is this Ace of Swords here? 
why is this ace of swords here why is this eight of swords here and why is this eight of wands here let's see what's going on with this past energy what's going on with the past energy so someone here is confused someone here was operating out of an illusion okay and I feel like that's what this person want to express. They want to express that they were operating out of an illusion. They have deep regrets about the past, but they're, they they want to reach out. I feel like someone here may be coming in with an apology. This person is coming in with an apology. They're just, again, waiting for the right time. They're waiting for the universe to give them some type of clarity that it's okay to come toward you. They could be having dreams about you or getting some type of trying to communicate with you telepathically, but that I feel like they definitely have been doing some reflecting, okay? And they are ready to create something new. They're setting out good intentions because they wanna start over. This person wants to start over. They're tired of being out in the cold. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're going to express to you that in the past, they were not in a place with this self-care card coming out in a reverse and the energy card in a reverse. This person did not know how to love themselves and they had to go through a dark night of the soul. Some type of transformation could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, they're going to tell you that they had to go through some type of transformation in order to first love themselves and then love you. And they're going to express to you that they have been avoiding this conversation. They've been avoiding this con conversation because they were lying to themselves and now they want to come in and stabilize things. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting to come in to stabilize things. But they're going to tell you all this. I've been avoiding this conversation. You know, I have been lying to myself. And now I'm ready to come in. I've been working on myself. I'm ready to come in. I want stability. I want some type of harmony. And I want things to flow. I feel like this person is in the dark because... They are, again, this person is thinking that coming together will be a wish fulfillment for them. However, I feel like this person is still going through some type of the dark night of the soul. So although they want this new passionate or this new beginning in love with you and they're ready to come forth and open up emotionally, it may not be time yet because they're still going through their transformation. Because they are in a transformation. But I see them feeling guilty. I see them. Um, they're going to tell you all of this. I was self-sabotaging. I feel guilty about that. I had doubts. I, I hid my emotions. You know. I may have caused this with the twin flame card. I, they're going to say tell you. I may have caused you. My energy may have caused you to walk away from this. Okay? And I understand that. So now they're making a decision to extend an olive branch. Okay? Yeah. They wanna they wanna reunite because they, they are having the they're experiencing nostalgia. This person is having an awakening. They could be getting advice from other people with this third party card here. There are other people involved. And this person wants to come back together. But again, there's still a blockage here. And there the blockage is someone here, this person is operating out of fear. They want to come in and tell you that they want to nurture this, situ this situation. They want things to grow, but they just don't know how to. They don't know if you're going to receive them. They don't, they're, they don't know. I don't know why I can't talk this morning. They don't know. So I feel like this person 
has not completed their channel message. I mean, their channel message. <laughs> this is me giving a channel message, but I feel like this person have not completed their transformation. I feel like they may be in the middle of their transformation, but they have not completed their transformation. And that is the reason why this person is not able to come in yet. They can't come in yet because they have to go through the transformation in order to activate their higher, highest level of consciousness, their highest self. And until that transformation is completed, they can't, they can't come towards you. They won't have the coverage to come towards you, the strength to come towards you, to face the things that caused you to, to go in two separate directions. So I am going to leave it at that, Pisces. I hope this resonates. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. I know I sound all over the place. My, I, for some reason, I cannot talk this morning, but that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes they happen to readers. But yeah, be blessed, be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you would like to, hit the subscription link. Thank you if you are already a subscriber. Make sure you hit the thumbs up image to help the video circulate and show some support. But be blessed. All right. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.